This is a con continuation of the Danfo.js series and today we have a short video on uh, my personal favorite uh, functions uh, that are available in Danfo. So let's just very quickly go over uh, recapping uh, on how to create a data frame. It's pretty simple. So here you have a temperature array and a pressure array, just simple numbers. And um, you basically, uh, the two of these go over a join, uh, a standard node red join. And uh, you just convert that payload to get a data frame. Uh, looking at that, it's basically, so this is what the converted data frame looks like. Uh, you have your two arrays uh, joined in together. You can have them joined other ways also. Then the next one is uh, sorting an index. So considering, so your index is basically based on how you've labeled your data, but uh, normally you can have them in either a weird chronological order. You have uh, intersections, things like that, uh, which can mess with your order of data. And uh, so you can sort your index in Danfo using just one function. And uh, that's pretty simple. It's just uh, you do a dot sort index over uh, whatever index is provided over here. We are assigning an index and uh, we are running a sort index, ascending false. So basically this will come out in the descending order. And So to give you a better view, this is what our original uh, data frame looked like. And uh, now that we sorted it in the descending order, which also works with letters, uh, CBA, um, the whole data frame gets sorted. Apart from that, we have the apply function. Now this is one of the best functions because uh, this allows you to apply a function across an entire data frame. Uh, some of the most common ones being uh, uh, just summations and uh, averages, things like that. Um, so essentially Uh, over here, we have the output DF, which has uh, the apply up, uh, on it. So what is happening over here is we have a data frame uh, we, that we've created from these numbers. Uh, these are column names. Um, and then we've defined a function somewhere to create uh, uh, an addition of these numbers. And after this, now we are just applying um, a submission across axis one. You can have axis zero also if you want those numbers. Um, so that's basically rows versus columns. And uh, after you've done the apply, you can just get one plus two plus three, uh, that's your six. And all of these numbers basically added together. Another pretty important one in the world of data is uh, working with uh, drop NA. And that's basically your data can have NANs, nulls, undefined values. And very often you just want to drop those columns, uh, those columns or rows. So you can very easily just run the drop NA function on it. Um, so this is your data. You have your columns. Um, then you're running a drop any along axis zero uh, and uh, a drop any along axis one. So that's basically if you want to drop across your columns or across your rows. 
and what this has essentially done is uh, the initial data frame that we had created you had the nans over here um the only column without an nan is your c column so that's the only one that's preserved and the only row that doesn't have the nans are um your zeroth row and that is preserved here i hope you find this tutorial useful for um some pretty important functions on data frames in Danfo. Um, and uh, we'll have more videos coming out in this with the uh, other data, uh, other functions here. Uh, another thing I should probably mention here is, so you have your apply function, which uh, gets applied across either a column or a row. You also have an apply map function, which you can use to apply to individual elements in the data frame like if you just wanted to um multiply all of these numbers by some complex function that you have defined somewhere else uh individually then you can uh, do that using apply map if it's a string you can lower your case of an individual so that's apply map apply is for an entire uh, series uh, or columns or rows um up apply map is for an individual element. Yeah. Thank you.